Broche, I'm sorry I have to do this to you, buddy, but unfortunately the game has decided that your scales are highly valuable and necessary for my progression. I'm actually really nervous to shoot him. Oh, the wind is kicking up around him, too. I shot too low. I didn't shoot high enough again. I cannot hit Feroche to save my life right now. Ah, I got him! What the heck? Oh, those were his scales that just fell off there. Feroche! I challenge you to combat! Fire. Is this actually doing anything? Don't hit me with your lightning spears, please. Get back to the bridge. Get back to the bridge. I need to make sure I pick up those scales that he's already dropped. Uh, he's going up into the sky. I think he might just be leaving. He might not have cared. Get up, get up, get up. Alright, we good, we good. Uh, can you not right now? I need these scales. Ferocious scale. Nice. I, I really needed you to die there. What are you doing? I really hope you can't use your ground attack here. But you probably can. Yeah, you can. Nope. Stasis. Did Ferocious just leave? I can't really check right now. Oh, he's dead. Froche, where did you go? Oh, he's going up into the giant typhoon in the sky. Did you teleport back here? Where? Yeah, you did. Nope. I'm busy trying to look at a super mythical dragon right now. Leave me alone. You're dead. Yeah. Froche, come back! I wasn't done. That's unfortunate. He doesn't die, you can't kill it, but you can collect its claws and fangs and scales by shooting it with an arrow, that is it. That's so lame! Like, that actually really annoys me. That they would make such a cool enemy and then it's not some kind of awesome boss fight. It's actually really dumb. Bring the scale to the Spring of Courage after visiting Laneru Mountain. Yeah, Chaos, he isn't a boss. That's so stupid! That's actually, like, really... boring. That's such a dumb design decision, to put in such a cool enemy and then not let you actually fight it. Chaos, you really thought you could fight a magical element spirit dragon? Yeah? I'm playing a Zelda game. Hello? Why wouldn't you be able to fight a mythical dragon? You get to fight the mythical calamity and the divine beasts. You can't fight a dragon? That's so stupid. I don't care if it makes sense that you can't kill it. The fact that they put such an awesome looking enemy in the game and then don't let you fight it? That's dumb. That's such a waste. That's, that's such a bad... You know what? Every game has to have uh, stuff that it does poorly, and this is definitely something that Breath of the Wild does really poorly, in my opinion. That's such a stupid design thing. You told me to go talk to the Elder again. I don't know why I went all the way down here. I'll go back up and talk to him. That's so dumb. I hate that. Like, I've enjoyed pretty much all of this game up until that point, actually. That's really stupid. I'm really upset that they decided to do it like that. It's made to help you? I don't care if it's made to help me. They could have made it to help me if I got to fight it. And get all of its materials by killing it. Chaos, think of the dragons as nothing more than environmental hazard with farmable materials. Well, that's what they are. That doesn't mean that it was a good decision. You should be able to fight them. That would be so cool to get to fight dragons like that. I don't care what they're meant to be. I'm saying that they should be a boss of some kind. 
That's such a waste. If you mean to help us, then allow me to fill you in on the particulars. Who's Tabba? Tabba is a warrior of Rito Village. He lives right next door to my humble abode. He's the one who decided to confront the Divine Beast. He set off alongside another villager named Hearth. Unfortunately, Hearth was shot down by Mado and had to retreat. This defeat only made Tabba more determined. I fear he has set out to face Mado by himself. As you can see, Mado is still flying about up there. I hope Tabba is okay. Tabba's wife, Saki, may be able to tell you more about his wh uh, whereabouts. Is there something else you wish to know, Master Rivali? Master Rivali was a fierce warrior from Rito Village who died 100 years ago. According to the stories, he flew like the wind itself and wielded a bow twice his own size with ease. His skill was recognized by King Rome, and he was entrusted to control a divine beast, Val Mado. Master Rivali lost his life while piloting the divine beast during the great battle with Calamity Ganon. What could have happened to the divine beast 100 years ago to kill such a celebrated warrior? Is there something else you wish to know? Mado. Did you perchance see that giant bird up there soaring high above our village? That is Divine Beast Val Mado. The Divine Beasts are misbegotten inheritance from the ancient Shika, created eons ago to defeat Ganon. It is an ironic turn of events that the Divine Beasts were taken over by the same evil force they were created to defeat, but that was 100 years ago to think the Divine Beasts would suddenly reappear and begin attacking innocent people. Could this foretell the return of Ganon? I don't know. Is there something else you wish to know? Nope. You, descendant of the champions, please stop Mado and help Teba. Okay. I'm not salty, I'm just, like, disappointed. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Go to Lanayru Mountain if you want to fight one. Do I actually get to fight one? I don't care if in your eyes it's fair. I I feel like I've been cheated out of what could have been an amazing boss fight because the developers of Zelda are stupid and thought, yeah, let's make these three really cool elemental dragons that look absolutely awesome and would be tons of fun to combat and try and defeat. And instead, we'll just make it where they, like, you know, fly around a little bit and ignore you. That's a good idea. Good plan. Good plan. I bet you would kill Parthenooks in a heartbeat. I don't know what that is. Oh, you're talking about Skyrim. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but if it's a dragon that you have the option of fighting to the death, I'd fight it to the death. Okay. What am I doing? Chaos, you're saying like we should fight the divine beasts head on? I would totally be down for fighting the divine beasts head on. That would be cool. But anyways, what do I want to... Uh, how much time do I have left? What's the uptime? I still have plenty of time, actually. Shroom, if you're still here, I'm sorry you didn't get to see an awesome dragon fight. The developers of Zelda are stupid. And unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about them being stupid. Alright. Uh, let's go to... I don't know where I want to go, actually. I guess we could continue on trying to get to the Divine Beast. So let's go talk to this person I need to talk to. Is that the quest I have equipped right now, since it's up here? Yes. Alright, go talk to Saki. I think the wind effects are, like, making the game lag a bit. You've got a giant stupid looking metal bird thing to fight, so there's that to look forward to. Unfortunately, all I get to do is go inside the giant stupid metal looking bird and complete the dungeon inside of it, and then fight the demon that's inside of it. But that's essentially fighting the stupid looking bird.
Just fill the Dragon Balls with negative energy to fight them. I'm upset that you just referenced GT. Alright. Let's go talk to Saki. Which I can only assume is a play on of that Japanese wine. And see what she has to tell us. Is this her right here? Are you Saki? Uh. Yes, you are. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the fight against Mado. But to tell the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went, which is where. Well, my husband reached, headed to a place called the Flight Range. It's in Dronux Pass at the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Rito warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Mado. As it happens, he made his way to the Flight Range on foot this time. Why would he ever do anything on foot? If you take off from Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the Flight Range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion, Rivali. Makes sense. So named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Oh, is this a memory? Looks like it is. Skyrim has been out since 2011. Like, you can't say not to spoil stuff there. It's been around too long to be upset about spoilers. If a game is, like, over two years old, then, you know, you've, you should have played it before. You've missed your chance. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I have been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? No, oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! What a cocky bird. And yes, this is like the first time there's been a good voice actor in this game. You're right. <laughs> Descendant. Descendant, are you all right? Yeah, I was just, you know, having a moment. My apologies. I fear I have said far too much. If there's anything you don't understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Thanks, Saki. All right, so we got to go over here and then make our way over to the location of the thing and the stuff. Where is it? That way? Wait a minute, where am I going? Yeah, straight over there. Now I'm gonna hit up that shrine on the way. Sick. This is not a straight shot. What was that woman talking about? If anything, the worst is Mipha's and Zelda's. Mipha and Zelda are pretty bad. Wait, so Falcon is challenging Link to some kind of competition on the Divine Beast who they're supposed to defeat together? No, Shroom, that was, a, that was a vision of the past. That was back when the Divine Beast was on our side, so we weren't trying to fight the Divine Beast. He just said that uh, he thought Link was worthless and wanted him to fight on the Divine Beast because at the time, Falcon controlled it. But now the Divine Beast in the current time... This is all really confusing, I know. The Divine Beast in the current time is evil, so we have to get another Rito to help us beat her. It's all really confusing. As is most video games in the world. It's still too cold even with my flame sword out, huh? Shawarvo. I 
and Rivali agrees with Zelda that they don't need the sword hero. That's right. They also didn't think they needed Link back in the day, and then they all died. So that's what they get. Put on the Rito armor, it gets colder. Oh, that's right, I have the Rito armor now. When I get back out of the shrine, I'll put it on. You're right, good call. Should still have over half an hour to go, so I would like to get uh, Path of Hidden Winds, Joy. I would like to get to at least unlock the Divine Beast, and then we can actually defeat it next time. Because I don't think we're going to have enough time to get through all of it today unless it's like the easiest dungeon of all time. Which, to be fair, it might be. I don't know. Can't touch this. Never mind, he touched this. Goodbye. Give me whatever you drop. Thank you. Also, what is that helmet you're wearing? Is it just the skull of one of your vanquished enemies? It basically is. It gives me an attack buff, so I love it. Because I love offense. Offense is the way, the truth, and the life. Unless you're playing Pokemon, in which case, bulky offense. Which is still offense, just with a lot more fat. It's the skull of the last mod who displeased him, Shroom. I don't think I've ever had a mod displease me. All of my mods have been pretty solid that I can remember. Wait, didn't I have Lone Wolf as a mod once upon a time? Never mind, I take that back. I have had one bad mod. Ha, I don't need to be that rude to Lone Wolf. I had one subpar mod. Where am I? Do I need to, like, curve around this? Where am I going? Oh, right. Th yep, there we go. I was really confused for a second there. Wee. Hello there. Was there only one? There was not only one chest. I've missed one somewhere. Way over there. Holy cow. How are you supposed to get to that? To be honest, I kind of want that one just because it's so far away. I think if I use this to shoot up, I might be able to make it. Whoops. Oh yeah, I've got this no problem. Hello, chest. You're mine now. Wow. I'll take the subpar. There you go. Well, I would like to keep my skull attached to my body. Don't worry, Shroom. You're one of the best. Knight's Bow. 32 attack up plus 6. Nice. I definitely want that over one of the ones I have, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, over this one by far. That one just fell into the ether. Very good. I also don't want to be using my Super Lionel bow right now. Uh, we'll use this one I just got, actually. Perfect. Alright, let's get the Spirit Orb and get on out of here. And I think that'll put me at three, so I'm only one shrine away from another heart upgrade. Which will be pretty good. The more hearts, the better. Considering that my stamina is maxed out, that is. Hello. 32 is with the attack up. Yeah, I know. I probably said it weird where it sounded like I thought it was 32 plus 6, but I know that it's actually... Because that was the same one that I just tossed, so it's 26 at base, but that one was better because it had the attack up. Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. Chaos, there are more labyrinths at the corners of the world that give you the other parts of the helmet you have right now. Oh, dude, seriously? I know that there are more of the labyrinths. I already know where one of them is. It's over at the Gerudo. But I didn't know it would give me more of the attack up armor. Oh, I definitely want to go get that then. We'll be doing that later. For sure. If it gives me more attack up stuff. And if I get all of them, it gives me a set bonus, right? Oh, that sounds sick. I've already talked myself into it. Alright, Rito time. I don't even I don't even need the flame sword. Sick. Flight range. Okay, this looks like it's constantly, yep, creating an updraft. Nice. Assume the guy is this one right here. Are you the dude I'm supposed to talk to? Yeah. I don't know you. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. I already like this guy. 
I guess all of the Rito, it's just genetic to be, like, cocky douchers, but, you know, I like it, honestly. We should totally cook just food that gives health upgrades here, because I forgot to do that earlier. So, for stuff that just gives health, I'd want, like, Hyrule Herb, and then the Palm Fruit and two apples? That should work. We'll make a few of these. Awesome voice actor here, too. I guess all of the Rito just have really cool voice actors, but they're the only ones. Cook stew, heart stew, cook a meat stew, please. Okay, fine, chat. I will cook a freaking stew. Meat stew. We'll do two raw meat, two things of fresh milk, and then throw in an Hyrule herb because that helps heart stuff, it seems. I like how the bottle of milk, like the bottle and all, just jumps around. That wasn't a stew, by the way. It didn't make a stew. You've lied to me for the last time, chat. What does this do? That looks so stupid with the milk. Meat skewer. All right, well, this stuff actually does not ever make stew, so I've been lied to. What if I do, like, two shrooms, an herb, and then just milk? What does this do? Cooked dubious food chaos experiment with the orbs? Nah, I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> Steamed mushrooms. Yep, still not stew. I'm starting to think you guys are lying to me about the stew stuff. Hey, shroom, look, I've got the zap shroom. This is whenever you draft an electric type. 